So you want to learn how to slipstream in Destiny 2. Well look no further, because this video will hopefully teach you everything you need to know about slipstreaming. Before we begin, if you haven't already, I do recommend watching my other Sparrow Flying video before you begin learning how to slipstream. While it's not necessary, I strongly feel that learning how to Sparrow Climb and Sparrow Dash will both teach you the fundamentals of Sparrow Flying, which will allow you to become more comfortable with your Sparrow and thus make learning slipstreaming much, much easier. However, if you already know the other forms of Sparrow Flying or just want to hop right into the deep end of the pool, feel free to continue, but for those that are interested, the link to that video will be in the description down below. For the purposes of today's video, we're in the Hellmouth on the moon, and we're going to be using the Scourge of the Past Raid Sparrow. The Sparrow is by far the best Sparrow in the game, but you're more than welcome to use any other Sparrow as long as it has the Destabilizer perk. And without further ado, let's just hop right into it. To begin, you're going to want to have something you can ramp off of, and give your Sparrow some height above the ground. For this tutorial, I'll be jumping off this top ledge, but you can do this anywhere you'd like. To begin, Start by ramping off the ledge and perform a diagonal roll by holding RT and holding your left analog stick diagonally to the bottom left corner. Keep the roll nice and controlled like this example here. Once you feel comfortable with the roll, you're ready to move on to the next step. After you got your roll down, you're ready to throw in the next sequence of moves. Do the same thing as before, however, once your sparrow reaches this position, press your left bumper to dash to the left, and immediately after pressing LB, let go of everything else on your controller if you're still pressing any inputs. By letting go of everything, the front of your sparrow will pop up like so. Some tips I have for the timing is to watch your guardian's head. Ideally, you want to press LB the moment his head is perfectly horizontal on this line. This line is the sweet spot between speed and height. If you press LB too soon, you will gain more speed but at the sacrifice of height. So you should only ever press LB if you have a tremendous amount of space beneath you. On the other hand, if you press LB too late, you will sacrifice your speed and instead gain height. If you find it hard to focus on your guardian head, you can also focus on the left lap of your sparrow and press LB when it is completely vertical. Once you can consistently get the front of your sparrow to pop up after hitting LB, all that's left to do is to chain together what you've already mastered. Ramp off the ledge and begin your roll like you normally would. Use your left bumper and let go of everything to pop up the front of your sparrow. Then, once your sparrow is upright, Reapply your destabilizers by pressing RT and pull your left analog stick back down to the bottom left. You should then be back into your diagonal roll and all that's left to do is to time the LB press properly again and repeat the process until you're out of boost. I'll play this back for you in slow motion so you can see the timing a little better and then I'll move on to some common mistakes and some tips. One thing I cannot stress enough is the importance of letting go of all the inputs when pressing LB. If you pay close attention to my controller inputs, you will even notice that I let go of RT and my analog stick when I notice my guardian approaching the optimal spot for pressing LB. The fact that I let go of the inputs even before I press LB should emphasize just how important letting go of everything truly is. You want to make sure you're in control of your sparrow the entire time. If you continually hold the inputs, not only will your sparrow not pop up properly, but you'll end up spinning way too fast and you will quickly lose control like this. Keeping your roll under control is an absolute must, so please be sure to let go of the inputs either directly before pressing LB or immediately afterward. You may have noticed that I'm not letting go of LT immediately. At the start, I recommend letting go of LT after your first LB because I think it's more important to focus on the quality of your roll. However, once you feel comfortable, you can continuously hold LT throughout your slipstream to get some extra speed. I personally like to hold LT until I've pressed LB about two or three times, but it will ultimately come down to personal preference. However, never reapply LT after you let it go as reapplying the boost midair will not only mess up your roll, but it will also take away from your available boost which is used for pressing LB. Other than that, the only thing I have left to say is once again, make sure you're keeping your roll under control, and make sure you're not holding RT too long or placing your left analog stick anywhere else besides the bottom left or in the center when you let go of it. If you feel you have the roll down but you're still plummeting straight down, try pressing LB a little bit later and you should gain or maintain your height as long as you're letting go of RT and the analog stick. Overall, slipstreaming is no easy process. 
It took me quite some time to get it down myself, so do not be discouraged if you aren't getting it immediately. These things take time, so just keep at it, and I have no doubt that you'll be able to learn this eventually. Hopefully this video was helpful for you, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and best of luck learning how to slipstream.